going on, family? What's going on? I pray that everybody is doing well on this blessed Sunday. As the most high have allowed us to see another blessed day. As we give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, all praise, and worship. Go to Yahuwah. We thank him for our Savior, Yahushua. Very, very hot topic here. Um, especially to my ladies on my page. Uh, big shout out to everybody. Um, love you. We see more and more of this BBL. And y'all want to know from a man's standpoint, um, let me let me say this right. I ain't, I ain't just know any man, you know. We got to separate the men from the boys out here. Uh, from a man with the Holy Spirit point of view, what do we think about all this? Y'all are, y'all already know how I feel. BBL, and if somebody watching it don't know what BBL stands for, it's the Brazilian button left. And it's very, very dangerous, uh, that BBL surgery. Um, when I did that old video about cosmetics, I tell people all the time from a biblical standpoint, and this is not to down you ladies, those who love makeup and putting on eyelashes and all this stuff, uh, from a biblical standpoint, a lot of y'all were not taught, just like a lot of us, period, wasn't taught about the fallen angels. Well, if you get into the book of Enoch, Enoch, how you want to pronounce it, they are called the watchers. And what they was able to teach and what the ladies picked up on. And this is another reason why the Most High was so angry. And this is why he wanted Israel to be so set apart from the others because they was off into all kind of stuff. And I always tell you, whatever you're getting off into, you should always research. First of all, you should pray about it and then ask yourself, is this of uh, the Holy Spirit? But it's very dangerous when you start operating on the body, taking fat and, and these injections and because you want to look a certain way, you want to feel a certain way. But I don't think what a lot of women recognize is that you're going to get older and your body is going to change. And you done took this surgery. Now you're getting older and older and older and things are not sitting right on your body like they're supposed to be. And so many women have died behind this. Uh, shout out to you, Mac Mac. You was talking about um, DC Young Flies. I believe that was his fiance who um, took it and later died. Uh, I think that's what they said the causes of it was. But it's so many women getting a breast enlarged, but lips. You got to understand the way our bodies were created as men and women. The Holy Spirit didn't make no mistake design in the body but if so many people don't like who they are they don't like what they look like they don't like what they stand for they don't like what they represent so what you have come on teach holy spirit is worldly way of looking at beauty hmm? so the world tells you to look this way do this but in the eyes of the holy spirit you was already wonderfully made and there are so many complications, so many things that go wrong with this. Now you're going to take fat from here, take fat from there. Then I want you to put it in my rear end, okay. ladies. And it can go wrong and hands went wrong. Blood clots, come on. Look at what's going on. That fat can travel. Man, Diddy was just talking about this. That, tra that fat can travel. Get messed up and, and get inside your lungs or your heart. Mm. It can cause heart attacks. Your lungs are going to collapse. They really setting you up for a, de a death trap. Some survive it. 
But you start talking about blood clots, the bloodstream. Something ain't sitting in there right. Hmm. Death after the plastic surgery. You injuring your vessels. Hmm. When a woman asks me, well, what do you think about it? I would never tell a woman to do this. I would just, this is my opinion now. I'm, re I'm reminded of this brother. I can't think of his name, but it was all over. Um, his wife went and got it. He begged his wife not to do it. Sad. It was so sad. Because not only when you're doing that, is it selfish in so many ways? Because you got children. A man begged his wife. He always told her, you are beautiful. I love you just the way you are. But she didn't love the way she was. Did when I done got it done. And she died. And it was hard to watch that video because that brother said the hardest thing too was when his son came up to him and said, What happened to my mama? Why is mama not coming back? I don't understand. Why why did she die? What happened? Who in the world want to look their son in the eyes and tell, son, your mama died because what do you tell your son? She wanted more of this. She wanted more of that. And that's why I got the question mark up there in the title. Is it worth losing your life? All the ones that died, now their children got all these questions and being brought up without their mama. See, when I go to this right here, Let's talk about the biblical way. So Yah created man in his own image. In the image of Yah created he him. Male and female created he them. Who created? Not me. Not the doctors. Not the plastic surgeon. And just that scripture alone, and, and let me, I'm just going to do a few scriptures because I'm not going to make this video too long. But then you go to David and Psalms. Look at this. Psalms 139, verses 13 and 14. You form my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My very self, you know. This is why you have no business messing with your body in that way. Because the way our body was made, it can't handle what you injected. It can't handle the See, in cosmetics, cosmetics, there's a lot of lead. It's poison. This is why I, I tell people, I've been saying this for years, I love the natural look of a woman. I don't care nothing to see a woman with makeup on. I care. I don't. I don't care at all to see these eyelashes. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of women are wearing. This is me. You can get mad at me for my way of liking. It's fine. You don't have to agree with me. But I can't stand it because it takes away the beauty of what you was already, what you already had naturally. There are a lot of women that get you know, get big after they have kids. And they, they, they just get mad if they wait. And, and it's just so much goes on in a, in a lot of women's mind. And they, well, I, what if I get this done? Well, what if you don't come out of it? What if you die after the operating table? What about your daughter, your son? What about your husband? What about your family? What about them? Isn't it worth losing your life? Is it? Look at Leviticus 19.28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. 
I am the Lord. Well, JT, that was only for Israel. That's the Old Testament. Now, let me tell you something. It's the reason why he said don't mark your body, don't cut, don't carve, don't make grave images, all this stuff, because the Holy Spirit is all knowing. He already knew what it was going to lead down to. Your body is already wonderfully made, and here you go with injections. I just I, I remember that movie, that movie um Beauty Shop, Queen Latifah, that 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 white girl on there, who when got her breast done, he said she paid eight thousand per breast. That's so her breast can look perky and bigger. But what happens when that stuff inside that breast pop go the wrong way? Like it already happened to so many. Do the Holy Spirit wants you doing all this to your body? See, that, that we got to separate the world from the righteous. And that's why, man, as a man of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to keep telling you, you are already beautiful to me. And see, what this world system is doing is telling you an image. That's why I can't stand in my race of people, man. How so many ladies, I love you enough to tell you the truth. How beautiful you are, but you're taking away all your beauty because you keep going out and getting all of this stuff. And then you got so many of them trying to look just like you, how you look naturally. That don't even make sense to it. Well, JT, they got that. I saw this new Beyonce wig, and I, I got, yeah, get that wig and get that spirit that come with it. I ain't talking about everybody. Now, like I said, I understand when there are a lot of women with sickness that have cancer and different things happen where they hair fall out. I'm not knocking what you do. Just catch the, the facts that I'm stating in this video. And you put on a wig because you don't want to walk around, you know, with your scalp and everything. So that's understandable. I'm talking about these women that's already beautiful. And then I know women who hair have fallen out, falling out, and they don't even, they have no shame. They still say God made me. But putting all this stuff on, it's hard to recognize who you are. See, a lot of ladies won't read the book of Enoch. They don't understand what I'm saying in this video. Some do. That's where the cosmetics came from. That's where those teachings came from. Let me let me go to um first Corinthians chapter six, verses 19 and 20. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Mm. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor. Look at this. Honor God with your bodies. Uh-oh. Honor. How can you honor God, the Holy Spirit? Because Satan is a God too. How can you honor the Most High Yahuwah? Taking his beautiful creation and replacing it with what the world say do. Oh, yeah, them, them, fact, them doctors are making a lot of money off of it. And then let's, let's go to straight. This, this is the one I love in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Like men also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Apparel, excuse me. The Bible says, dress modestly, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Dress modestly. Am I saying gold gonna send you to hell? Braid your hair gonna send you to hell? Uh, no. What Paul was saying is that they was taking so much time. Spending on the outer of beauty, out of beauty, out of appearance. Focus was off. Just like nowadays, a lot of women will spend more time putting things on top of their head, getting their hair done, but won't put nothing inside their head. Won't read the word. I ain't talking about all. I'm not talking about all women. When how you look on the outside becomes more important than how you are on the inside, ain't nothing wrong with looking good, ladies. Look good. You're gonna, 
You're going to do what you do to make yourself look good. But in reality, to me, you already look good. But don't let your focus only be you so stuck up on how good you look, girl. I'm going to kill him with this. Oh, watch what I put on tonight. Watch when I put this on, going to church. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about church, too. Brazilian butt lift. And see, a lot of men, they love it. Oh, JT, did you see how thick that? That ain't even hers. And then some of the women that got it, they looking down on the women who are natural. Hating on it. And then the women that get into it, well, girl, mine real. These are real. What you got? An argument happened, a fight break out. So many of them died. I forgot what was that in Miami. One point in time, it was, I think that was between the year of 2018, maybe 2020. Eight women died behind that surgery. You you want it, you want it as so important that you die trying to get it pumped up. Left your children here. But once again, this is the worldly way. I can't see a one. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can't see a virtuous woman going to get no butt lift, y'all. Let's, let's say that's why I say let's. Let's separate this for a minute. How many virtuous women would go get a butt lift? First of all, that woman will respect her husband when her husband say, I like you the way you are. Come on, teach all the spirit. But a worldly, loose woman going to go do whatever they want to do. I think it's cute. Girl, when I come back, watch. Watch how it's going to look when I get back. And you ain't even make it off the operation table. But a virtuous woman, the Bible say, she is far more precious than rubies. First of all, a virtuous woman is not finna go out the house showing everything. Come on. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. Some of these women in these churches talking about they virtuous women, and you can't help but see cleavage and everything when they walking around the church. Thongs on, ass, head is out. Someone trying to get at the pastor. No, he married. They don't care. Do you honor? That scripture just said you honor him with your body. We see your. We present our body a living sacrifice. To be holy and acceptable. And then you're causing your brother to stumble. I know men in high five each. Ooh. You see some of these celebrities got it. Some of these R and B artists, these rappers, these female rappers they got. And you and you really think that's all theirs and they oh they think they look good. That's fake. So stop talking about you want a real man when you won't even show a real man your real self. Uh oh, your real you. Let that real man see your real titties. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. Your real butt. See, so many and it is vice versa on both sides. So many women got all these. I require this. I require that. But what he tell you? Can you look natural for me? No, nah, I got. See, now you're finna mess up my image. Now nah, you already messed your image up. Let me, let me go back to Genesis right quick. What, what did that say again? The plastic surgeon created man in his. No, nah, I didn't say that. Mm. Yahoo created. Mm. E. Come from. Out of Adam. Holy Spirit didn't want no part, didn't play no part of what you see going on in this world. Even though our bodies are temporary, ladies, 
temporary. You still she want to honor. See, it's only it's only the women out here that do this don't get to see a title like this and get mad. I still love you. Because, oh, can I flip it? You got used to be men who get their stuff removed. All this transgender stuff. You know, I was really born a man, but I didn't like who I was, so I want I want a vagina now. I want breast. I want to be a woman. Confusion. Wicked. And look at the people that support it. Don't see nothing wrong with it. And that's just confusing from the devil because the devil, because you got men want to be women and women want to be men. And then the children looking up, trying to figure out what's going on. What's going on? I hear you, Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? We still saying what's going on, Marvin. I hear you in that song. Somebody probably thought I was just trying to contact the dead. Now, I'm saying I hear you in that song, What's Going On. The longer we are left around here, the more of this stuff we are going to see. But let, let, let me go back to something. Because when David said, you form my inmost being, you near me and my mother's won't see. Don't nobody know you the way the Holy Spirit know you. David said, I praise you. Why am I praising you? Because you, you already know me. You knew me. You formed me. I mean, I am wonderfully made. I praise you. He say, wonderful all your works. He praises the one who is the creator. He ain't praising no doctor right here. Once again, you got world. I should have just went on title this worldly. That's my subtitle: worldly beauty versus the Most High beauty. I'm say, well, JT, it, it ain't. I mean, I don't think the Holy Spirit is against it because it's not really just rolling the bowing about, you know, plastic surgery, cosmetics. And, and see, if you read between the lines, you'll see what's in there. You have discernment. You pray before you study. You, you'll see it in there. Because Israel was all over this type of stuff. You name it, it was going on. But if you also get into the book of Enoch, when them watchers was teaching women how to dress, how to put on makeup, how to do them things with your eyes. So when they look at you, that ain't who you are. Oh, yeah. And on that note, I'll leave you with that. Shalom, family.